Alright, I have time warped into the vicinity of Duna with uh, with Calrod Kerman and we are going to attempt a double landing. We are going to attempt to land on Duna and Ike, but first of all we need to avoid actually crashing into Duna, which is our current situation. And we also want to aero break at Duna. So let me focus on Duna just to make things clearer and see if it'll let me create a maneuver node for once. There we go. Uh, it's important that we sort of match inclinations with Ike for this. Well, I mean, I guess we will go for the Duna landing first. That I guess what that would make it easier. If you were being sent to Mars, which would you rather prefer, uh, being stranded on... I mean, it, and you were going to land on both one of Mars's moons and on Mars itself, which would you rather be stranded on, Mars itself or one of Mars's moons? Knowing that if you were on Mar one of Mars's moons, it'd be easier to retrieve you, but if you were on Mars itself, well, that's... Well, that's an interesting story, isn't it? For those who haven't read The Martian, I highly recommend it. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this correction. It's good enough. It might cost us a little bit too much, but... It makes me feel a little bit better. And we'll do it from out here so it costs a little bit less. Okay, I'm deliberately keeping my periapsis high because now I'm going to go over to air breaking calculator and hope it gives me a good number. All right, so let me find out what my periapsis should be. So according to air breaking calculator, if I want to aim for Ike, then I should go for about 12,500 on the periapsis. If I want to land on Duna, if I want a tight orbit around Duna so I land directly on it eventually, I should go for a uh, 11,400. So I'm going to go for 11,400 and try to land on Duna itself. Okay, so panels in. We have landed on Duna before but I don't think we're carrying the instruments and in any case uh, we need to plant a flag on Duna to fulfill a contract. We've done that before as well, but we we got another contract to plant another flag, so that is the situation. Now everybody's gonna tell me that I should use my parachutes to descend on Duna. I've never trusted. Uh, you'll have to watch like uh, one of my early videos where I tried Duna landings, uh, but uh, repeatedly I tried using the parachutes and I got messed up with them, so. So I don't trust the parachutes anymore, is flat out the situation here. Okay, I think landing around here would be alright. So I'm just going to keep my orbit as is and not, not mess with it at all. And then we'll approach here. How is the landscape? Ah, uh, we can't see very much anymore. That was our previous landing spot. Oh, right, well, hmm. We do want our landing spot to be relatively, well, no, it's, it'll be fine. It's relatively equatorial so that we can transfer to Ike easier. Uh-oh, we've got some high, high terrain here. Okay. Okay, be aware. Wow, very high terrain, okay.
Okay, that's that stage. Where does it leave us? Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw it down. Okay, thanks for the camera change. I don't know why that had to happen. Landing gear. Uh, I always I always throttle down when I'm landing on Duna and that is always a mistake. So I'm not going to do that until I'm nice and safe. Okay, okay. How high above the terrain are we? We're still above 3,000 meters. Okay, radar altimeter, do not feel me now. Okay, 2,500 meters. Oh shoot, not what I wanted to do. Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that was a close call. Watch out for those inadvisable switches to map view. That was pretty much a suicide burn right there. trouble zeroing myself out horizontally but I think I think I'm pretty good okay here pretty okay okay we've landed <whistles> all right uh, <laughs> that was dangerous all right let's see what instruments did we did we do okay we, we, we didn't even do a gravity scan last time i'm gonna keep that data i'm pretty sh well i don't know if we've done it on ike but it's easier to do it uh that's only 14 science let's let's save that for ike just in case we haven't done it there log temperature well that's nothing anyway Okay, so it's just a gravioli that was new. We have to fulfill that contract, Calrod. We've done the EVA and the surface sample, I'm sure. Okay, let's just make absolutely sure about that. Oh, this one we haven't done, I guess. Okay, uh, keep data, board. Uh, have we done a crew report here at least? No. Okay, I know we have. We don't need to. Okay, flop down. Oh, good landing this time. Uh, Calrod's better at uh, making the dismount than than uh, his uh, fellow Kerbal on the moon, Tom Doss. So surface sample. Ah, did we transmit it last time? I wonder what happened with the. Surface sample last time. Okay, plant a flag. Okay. Calrod. Oh, not bright at all. K 
Cameron on Tuna. Okay. Now on to Ike. Well, that that's we'll we'll see about that. It depends on whether you've got the. Wonder if you've got the Delta V for that. I don't know yet. We have to get into orbit first. Okay. Carefully. Forward grab. Good job. Forward. Okay. Well, uh, nothing for it. All systems seem good. Right. I think we can go on to... Well, let's get to orbit first. Here we go. Oops. Didn't retract ladder properly. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about my inclination here. Set as Ike as a target. Of course, Ike hardly... Uh, Ike's not very picky about these things, really. But it's better to be careful about it. Looks like we're in completely the wrong position to fix our inclination, though, unfortunately. On the bright side, I do think we have the Delta V. Cal rod to uh, make that Ike landing. Need to be careful to make sure that we shift the fuel at the right time, but I think we can do that after making orbit around Duna. Okay, so here we go. Okay, that's orbit 61 by 68. Let's see if I can plot for uh, transfer instead of uh, correcting inclination. Oh, there we go. See, uh, it works out nicely when uh, that's going to be our ascending node, so it's it's good. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. We don't need a free return or anything like that. We don't anticipate random failures. That would require a mod. Okay, let's see if fuel transfer is necessary. Yeah, might as well transfer some now. Ah, I neglected this tank with the moon one. Actually, we're pretty close to being able to dump this bottom stage here. Okay. Alright, so we'll wait until we finish the Ike burn before doing any more transfers, I think. Okay, I've been letting my electric charge dwindle. I'm going to send out the solar panels right now. Ike's... I don't think there's a rule that when Ike is above the horizon you should burn for it, but Ike happens to be above the horizon and... and we're approaching the time to burn for it. So that's good. Let's go for it, actually. Ah, oh, that's a bit quicker than I thought. Okay, let's get closer to the node. Okay, we should be able to transfer everything else from this tank up. Right. So I'll fine tune it after I dump this stage. Okay. There's no more fuel in this this purely fuel stage. There's no engines on that stage, right? It's all going up to this one. So okay. Off it goes. Now our little Ike lander will complete its burn. Lost its maneuver node, unfortunately. Don't ask me how that works. He 
seems to be close enough, 26 kilometers. Okay, so there's Ike. Let's just go for it. So here we are with the Ike encounter, and I'm gonna start by getting into orbit. This would be a good place to land. Okay, Calrod is now in orbit around Ike, and oh, the place that I said was uh, a good place to land happens to be around where we landed before. Uh, I guess we should land on this dark patch now then. No good repeating oneself, even if uh, the dark patch is in a different biome, which it is not in this version. And it's still not until I guess the next version will introduce it as a new biome, hopefully. Wow, that's a sudden sunrise with Duna there. That's That was neat. Okay, let's initial descent burn. Okay, bit of rough terrain though. Hmm. This is going to be a difficult landing again. On the right side, now that we've dumped the extra mass, our lander is quite powerful. Lots of thrust to wait. I'm gonna pass this little mountain thing. If I don't collide into it. Maybe I should land here. Yeah, okay. It's getting a little bit dark anyway. Okay, our, how far above the terrain are we? Uh, okay, let's wait till 2,000 meters. That's 2,000 meters radar altitude, so 5,500 is what we're looking at here. Maybe 5,600 just for safety's sake. Okay, how bad is this terrain exactly, I wonder. Can't really see it that well. Must have underestimated my altitude or overestimated the altitude of the terrain because my lights aren't hitting it yet. Oh, there's, there's the lights. Okay, we have landed on Ike. Calrod has uh, managed both Duna and Ike in the same mission. And we've got a seismic scan that's worth 160. Good news. How about a temperature scan? That too is new, 64. Unfortunately, we've uh, kept the Gravioli data from Duna, which is more important anyway. Let's retract the solar panels. And then Calrod can uh, fulfill the contract. Okay. Let's see if the CVA report was done. Yes, it was. Okay. Okay, Calrod, the surface sample. Oh, wow, we've, we've, we didn't recover it, I guess. Okay, plant a flag.
Okay. Colorado Nike. Date. Yeah, and Nike in the same mission. Indeed. Not as not as impressive as some other KSBers have done, of course, but but interesting nonetheless. Board. Okay, well, I, I'm not gonna dawdle. Let's uh, get Kara back into orbit. Now, Calrod's going to have to hang out uh, because we're not in position to transfer him back to Kerbin just yet. So it's going to be an interesting thing to see whether he gets to head back home first or whether the Jewel mission has to be conducted first. But in terms of Delta V, he's looking good. He's in orbit uh, 19 by 37, 36, 37. And so that is a safe orbit around Ike. And now let me take a look at the broad view here. Yeah, it's going to be a while before. Uh, Kerbin has to be 75 degrees behind Duna, so around here. It's going to be a while. And, uh, well, tough to say whether that's going to get to Jewel first. Because this is the slow part of the orbit. I think uh, this is going to call for tracking station. Okay, so here we go. We want our focus to be the mission to Jewel. Just coming in like that. Uh, sort of the slow path. And we'll see whether... I think I, I think the Duna mission is going to come in first. Let's see. I mean, at least the Duna mission is going to start out on its journey back home first. Wow, that thing is going slow. Ah, time warping. Okay, holding up my protractor to the screen. It looks like that is 75 degrees, or at least a good approximation of it, between Tuna and Kerbin. And our, our mission to Jewel is uh, still 120 days away. So I think we'll be completing the Dune mission first, but I don't think I'm going to get to that in this episode. So uh, with that, we'll be returning the Dune mission back to Kerbin and then handling the Jewel mission in the next episode. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.